if you guys are looking for a fast, cheap, and reliable coin service, check out ufifa.com in the description down below. They're incredibly cheap at the moment. You can pick up PlayStation coins at around £8.20 per million and Xbox coins at around £13 per million with discount code CURT5. What's up guys, Kurtz here and welcome to a brand new overpriced versus affordable. Yes lads, it is back. Now I know I said I'm going to be uploading every day for a month and that means we're going to be getting a lot more of these amazing overpriced versus affordables that I know a lot of you guys love. So we're about day four or five of the every video uh, every video a day for a month challenge. But nonetheless, today we have overpriced versus affordable with Team of the Year, Di Maria and Correa. So before we get stuck into it, I do want to say if you guys could smash that like button, that would be absolutely amazing. If we could hit 300 likes this video guys, that would be great. So as you see on the screen I have the cost of the two players at the time recording Di Maria's team of the year costs around 5 million coins and Correa is almost discard price around 1k I did actually pick up Di Maria for about 3.7 mil and actually there was one listed just before at 3.4 mil but he has been rising incredibly quickly and may even rise even more so as you'll see on the screen I put the quality and the value for money now this doesn't necessarily mean that Di Maria has one just because he has better quality I will go on to explain it throughout the video but Di Maria does have a five star quality I still want to say five star skills I don't I don't know why. Every time I say five star, I feel like I have to say it. But Correa has three and a half, whilst uh, Di Maria has four star value for money, and Correa has five star value for money. So now I'm sure you can imagine why exactly Correa does have the uh, the value for money as uh, as five stars. I mean, he is a fantastic player and he is ridiculously cheap, whereas Di Maria is an incredible player. One, of, I'm going to go ahead and say is the top three players I've used in this game, and. I'll explain that again in a second, but obviously he's so expensive. I was so happy I picked him up for uh, 3.7 mil when I did. Like I said, he keeps rising and rising. Every time I check, I've made like another 300k on him. So hopefully... He does continue to rise because I don't plan on selling him anytime soon. And I'll probably shift him on when I have about 7 mil in him, which will be absolutely amazing because uh, hopefully I'll, uh, I'll be able to get some really good players from that. So let me talk to you about each individual player. We're going we're gonna to talk a bit about Di Maria first and we'll, we'll talk a bit more Correa. But Di Maria is honestly one of the, like I said, the best players I've used in this game. I'm going to go ahead and say I haven't actually used Ronaldo this year, which is ridiculous. I've used him in head-to-head -head and he was incredible, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I haven't used Ronaldo this year. And obviously, I've used Messi. Messi is the best player I've used in this game. He was genuinely insane. For once this year, Messi's card is actually good. Usually, using Messi's card is a bit of a letdown. He's never really as good as you want him to be, but this year, he was absolutely fantastic. So, um, that is then making it really tricky for me to, to say Di Maria is the best player on the game, but he is so incredibly close behind Messi. It is just ridiculous. This Team of the Year card just terrorizes defenses. He has incredible pace, amazing balance and agility. He is so good with close dribbling, so good on the ball. Using that four-star skills, he just tears up the fences. Now, let's talk a bit about Correa. Now, he has his two cards. He has his card, I believe, in like the Argentinian League or something like that. But recently, he got his transferred card, obviously, to uh, Valencia, which is absolutely amazing because that means there's opportunities for loads of great uh, hyperlinks like the Perez hyperlink. You can also get Otamendi if you can get it to work. So many really cool links. And Valencia are buying a bunch of uh, Argentinian players, which is absolutely amazing. So, these two are very similar in many reasons. Reasons. They're both very, very quick. Both have four star skills and both really good on the ball with close control. Now, I actually played these two in the same sides and then also tried them in different sides with uh, false 9, 4, 3, 3, where they were both absolutely fantastic. I will say, when it came to the 4, 3, 3, false 9, Di Maria did actually edge it. He was quite a bit better as a centre forward. But when it came to actual uh, central attack midfield, it was a lot closer than you'd actually expect. expect. Correa was really, really good, like incredibly good in attacking mid. You'll see here the sort of driven runs he can make. He's one of those players that can pick up the ball. And if you time your runs right and the changing of angles, you can absolutely tear defences apart with him. So, these two guys are absolutely amazing. If you're going to be playing them further forward, I am going to try out Di Maria in striker soon. But like I said, in centre forward as a lone striker, he was incredible. And Correa was good, but just not quite that sort of good. Now, Di Maria, I will quickly tell you the goals to games I had for him. In This is just in central attacking mid. In 10 games, I got 15 goals with Di Maria. So, he is behind the striker there. Aguero got a bunch of goals ahead of him as well. Whereas Correa, obviously his goal ratio wasn't quite as good, but he was also a left attacking mid. So, um, he got... I think it was 7 in 10, but ridiculous results nonetheless. But for the fact that he literally is just so unplayable in any position, I've even tried him in centre mid, I've tried him all over the pitch other than striker, and he is just incredibly unplayable, so versatile, and one of the best players I've ever seen on this game. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Smash that like button if you did. Subscribe to this channel if you're new around here. Comment down below who you would like to see me do overpriced versus affordables with in the future, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.